My name is Holden Jansons, and I'm the Associate Director of In View of Pharmacology here at Charles River. I've been with Charles River Brains Online for almost five years. So we can measure a lot of different things using microdialysis. We can measure things like neurotransmitters, looking at serotonin, dopamine, norepinephrine. We can also measure other analytes that are in the brain, such as kynurenin and its metabolites, as well as exogenous compounds, such as client compounds. We can measure the PK of compounds that are being administered to the animals over time. So push-pull microdialysis is a technique that allows us to measure larger molecules such as proteins, such as A-beta, tau, alpha-synuclein, as well as antibodies. Using microdialysis, we're able to measure proteins or large molecules that are in the interstitial space and the pore size is larger in the microdialysis membrane and so we're able to pull those proteins or larger molecules through the microdialysis probe and be able to measure them using the microdialysis technique. Push-pull microdialysis is a technique that's very applicable in neurodegenerative diseases. So when you're looking at levels of beta in or tau in, in Alzheimer's disease, you can measure how levels change over time and how administration of such things like antibodies can decrease those levels. So the MediQuant microdialysis probe is a proprietary microdialysis probe that was developed many years ago to measure quantitative levels of primarily drugs in the brain. So this technique allows us to have a very slow flow um, through the microdialysis probe, which allows as high, uh, close to 100% of drug to pass from the outside of the microdialysis probe in the brain through the membrane, um, which is then picked up by the carrier flow um, and then is diluted at a known concentration. And with this really slow flow, we're able to get close to 100% recovery um, with the microdialysis probe. When you're grinding up tissue and looking at brain levels, you're measuring bound and unbound concentrations in the brain. But the power of the MediQuant technique is that we're able to measure the free fraction compound that's in the brain, not the unbound. Um, and we're able to measure that over time. So one of the powers of the MediQuant technique is that we're able to measure pharmacokinetic changes within the same animal in multiple compartments. So in the past, when you've done you know, a simple PK study, it requires a lot of animals and you're having to collect tissues from animals and be able to compare across multiple animals. With the MediQuant technique, we're able to measure free fraction compound in the brain. We can also put a MediQuant microdialysis probe in the jugular vein and be able to measure free compound levels in, in the blood. So one thing we can do with microdialysis is combine it with behavioral assays and other techniques that we do in-house. We can use microdialysis coupled with different behavioral assays and look at behaviorally evoked changes um, in neurotransmitters and how different compounds may increase or decrease those changes in neurotransmitters in response to different behaviors such as novel object recognition. Um, we can also couple microdialysis with the EEG. So within the same animal, we can measure the levels of neurotransmitter changes in response to administration of a compound and be able to compare that with the EEG activity all within the same animal at the same time. And this multimodal approach may help our clients make better decisions moving forward in the clinic. So microdialysis is a technique that can be used in, in many different tissues. Um, we can measure free compound levels in other tissues besides the brain, including um, tumors. Um, we can also look at um, changes in analytes in other organs of the body, including the gut, the liver, the lung, and the heart. So microdialysis, while in theory may be simple, but in practicality can be um, rather challenging. Being able to place the microdialysis probe in a specific brain region, um, sample from that region, collect the samples in a consistent way, um, makes it for a very challenging technique. 